Well, it is a town that has been on lockdown for almost a week now. But tonight, a fugitive who shot an officer in Tennessee and then went on the run in Kentucky is dead. Floyd Cook was shot and killed in a shootout with police in Burksville overnight. And tonight, News Channel 5's John Quill Newland shows us folks in the small town, they're ready to breathe easy again. For the last seven days, the small town of Burksville, Kentucky, has lived in fear. It was scary for all of us here. Residents were imprisoned in their own homes as police searched for wanted fugitive Floyd Cook, who was able to elude officers time and time again. People were looking for closure, and we thought that was going to happen, and that didn't happen. And then the, the community was wondering, is he still here or is he gone? Today, however, a sigh of relief. It was like, yes, it's done. Misty Thompson's son is on a rescue squad in town. She went to bed every night thinking of him. You know, if he's going to shoot at a police officer, what's going to say he's not going to shoot at, you know, rescue squad members that have no guns? For nearly one week, Cook managed to evade officers despite several sightings in the area. I think he was coming and going, but it's a relief that he's not here no more. Mayor Riddle believes Cook took advantage of the terrain's caves and culverts. He had a lot of places to hide, and uh, you know, whether he had any help, that remains a question. After a shootout with officers early Friday morning, Cook was shot and killed, leaving the small town shaken but thankful they can move on. I think everybody's just glad it's over. Residents here in Burksville were on such a high level of alert that if Cook was not found by the weekend, they were contemplating not celebrating Halloween. Thankfully, those plans can go on as normal. In Burksville, I'm John Quill Newland, News Channel 5. Kentucky State Police officers continue to look into whether Cook had any help while in Burksville.